There certainly isn't a shortage of tires in the RC world, and I don't think I've even scratched the surface on trying out all the different scale and trail crawler tires that are out there, but this one caught my eye. Enjora reached out and asked if I wanted to try their newest 1.9 comp tire, and I really like the lug pattern on top, and with all the different comp rigs starting to come in here, I thought I'd give it a shot. So this is a relatively new tire from them. Uh, it's got a narrow carcass to it, and it's got like an oval and H pattern lug. It's got a smooth sidewall with some lettering on the side. It says Comp Tires 1.9 MT Malt Terrain. So I'm thinking that's like a multi-terrain tire. Comes with a foam insert, but since I was going with the whole Enjora setup, I also went and grabbed some of their uh, silicone rubber inserts that they have. They have uh, the blue version, green, and I think they now have a yellow soft compound. Uh, but this actually replaces the foam insert that's uh, that comes with this tire. So when I go and assemble it, I'll have all these inside. Just got to go with the greens. Uh, but this is pretty interesting insert. I think a lot of people are starting to like this style. And then I went for uh, some of the rims, of course. And Enjora has really come a long way, in my opinion. I mean, I've used some of their STX24 stuff, nice cheap stuff you could get off of Amazon. Uh, but I really like these new wheels when I was looking through their website. They're the super heavyweight wheels, uh, rainbow anodizing on them. They're brass. They've got a really nice beadlock ring. And it comes with all silver hardware. And I've already went and assembled one of the tires here. It looks really good. I'll actually overlay the overall weight of it on the video below, but this is a really good looking tire. Once it's all set up, uh, I'm gonna go throw these on my Ascent and, and see how they work. So in an effort to test out the wheel and tire combination, I brought this rig up to RC Madness in Enfield, Connecticut, and drove it on their indoor course. Everything outside right now is either covered in snow or the rocks are wet. Just wanted something consistent to drive this rig on. And there I got a pretty good feel for the performance of this setup. And when I first started driving it, um, I actually wasn't impressed with it. Uh, it just seemed like there was a lot of tire spin, and a bit just inconsistent overall. And then as I started to drive more and more, I think everything finally started to break in. The inserts got a, a bit softer, the tire compound itself wore a little bit, and then it started to grab a lot better. Uh, as far as, you know, forward bite with these, the pin works really well. There was just a couple of smooth rocks there where it had some wheel spin, and then I just have to bump the throttle up to get up and over. Um, but the issue I had with them is when you're side hilling, there is a little bit of sidewall collapse and maybe I should have went with the blue insert. Um, I'm not sure yet. I, I, I want to play around with these inserts. So it's definitely something to play with to get your rig dialed in. But, you know, just going on some of the side hills, uh, I noticed a little bit of tire roll. And then when it hits that tire roll, you've got this smooth edge of the tire that just kind of slides a little bit. And that could shift you off your line. So I don't know if maybe one more lug a little bit more on the outside would have helped out. I mean, they have this edge lug uh, kind of just shoved into the center, maybe a little bit more to the outside. It would give you a little extra bite. But what I really liked was the weight. I think the weight of these wheels definitely work out with the combination. And the other thing to note about about the pins is sometimes there's a little bit too much grip. So sometimes when you go and pivot around the rock, let's say, you know, catch a rear tire on the rock and try to pivot your, your front end around, uh, it'll su actually suck the tire down because there's so much grip to the, that face of that rock or whatever um, that it'll actually catch it up and, and then the rig's hung up. So, you know, you just have to watch the, the way you're driving your lines. Definitely like the look of the weighted wheel and the weight itself does help this rig stabilize. I think it helps give the tire an insert a little bit of squish. That helps with the traction. And I think what I chose here is a good combination. I might go and play with the inserts a little bit more, but for the cost of the overall package of this tire setup, it's worthwhile playing with. It's worthwhile uh, experimenting with. And uh, you know, either way, I think you're gonna get some good traction out of these. For me, who just goes out to have fun and challenge myself, uh, I think it's definitely a worthy tire setup. I'll have links for everything in the video description below.